All right, guys, so we just finished the uh, art gallery, and we decided to come back to Good Pie to actually try the Detroit hot pizza. But, it, but it takes 30 minutes to, to make, so I got a few slices while I'm waiting. That is the Detroit hot. No, no, Are you taking a video? I'm yeah. video, yeah, that's I'll what we're doing here. Of you, brother. No, I thought we were all taking a group shot. Oh, but that's fine. Group shot, yeah. Eat the pizza and then we can eat after. <laughs> <laughs> eat, eat the pizza, then we'll shoot a pic after. Okay, I, cool. I want you guys to try one other thing. I want to. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus thing. Oh, thank oh, you. Cool. A new menu item: the fried ravioli. Nobody's. Oh my God, yes. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do fried ravioli with hot honey. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna trip. Let me. I'm gonna put it in for you right now. <laughs> Yo, this is a this is a thing no one's had yet. Oh. It's the the fried ravioli with the hot honey. What is you know what's the uh, ricotta herb ricotta? I can't have that. They can't. Have that. Sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. those are telling if it's home milk, if it's home milk ricotta, I can't have it. Well, but you just ate a pizza that had some home milk mozzarella. That's different no, between home milk. Oh, and the ricotta. Uh, okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Well, you should try that. No one's had it. We just already did it. We actually, some guy on the staff had it for his employee meal and everybody bugged out and we put it on the menu. Oh, nice. They can all have it, including him, so I'm sure they'll love it. Yeah, so you dip it in the sauce and then you can put hot honey on it or you can just eat it with the honey. But it's really, it's really good. We even put the hot honey on cheesecake. Mm -hmm. We're flying in cheesecake from Brooklyn every Wednesday from Junior's. <gasps> so if you know Junior's Cheesecake, we, we fly it in from Brooklyn every week. All right, so last time we were here at Good Pie, we did Good versus Evil from Evil Pie, Good Pie. And we met a dude named Rigo. And he introduced us to the Detroit Hot Honey Good Hot. So, I got everybody around me here. Okay. That's, that's gonna be for me later on. I'm gonna stand by, stand by. Uh, yeah, I don't do spicy at all, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna suck. I mean, it's gonna be good, but I'm gonna probably cry. So, Detroit style, good, hot. Honey. You get the other side with a jalapeno. Oh, he's got it. He's bitten straight into it. Now, see, you don't taste the heat right away. At least I didn't. <laughs> it takes just a couple seconds. And then after that first swallow, when Ted's throat closes. Yeah, thank you, man. Or as they say in Brooklyn, in the pizza world, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Thanks, Christmas. Guys. Pleasure. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Be safe. How was it, Ted? Good. It's time to get air in there. The air makes it worse. What do you think? Oh, I should be recording now. Why? Yeah. Do you love it? It's good. <laughs> So the owner came out and gave us some uh, fried ravioli. It's not even on the menu yet, but uh, my mouth is still burning from the pizza, so. Why are you so shocked, Joe? Because Ted's full. I've never seen him not finish any food, ever. Oh, they make it. This might be a first. I have a whole slice and then some of that good hot left over. It's the first time seeing this uh, store. It's pretty funny. The sign actually says dead people's junk. <laughs> Anyways, looks pretty cool.
already played this game, the Twilight Zone Mini Golf. So one, one of these guys, including me, one of us won. I want you to pause the video, take a guess, who do you think won the game? And then watch the video and comment down below if you're right. Or if you're wrong. Or whatever. Question 10. Okay. Oh, just question. How am I gonna get laid in 2021? <laughs> you already know the answer. Let's find out. Oh my goodness. Hell no. Did not oh my goodness. That's a hard no. I'm gonna get laid this year. That is 2021. Oh my god, next year. You gotta make it in the whole thing. You gotta wait two years. Oh no. I'm sorry, Dave. So we've just finished the game of Twilight Zone Mini Golf. Rounding up the tally of the score. I'm pretty sure I got there last, but we'll find out in a second. 25, 27, 32, 33, 38, 41. Really, the real winner was 10. Right? I got a free round. So I came in dead last, and I got a free round of golf. Uh, the game's already over, but pretty much... Oh, no, I'm just recording. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you, though. Hey. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta start over. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're at the Twilight Zone mini golf. We already played the game. Someone was already a winner, but not yet. Oh, gotta make him guess. All right, guys. So game's over. We're on our way for a mission for food. We get some food in our bellies. <laughs> cool. It's yeah. A lot of people are saying, no, you gotta get things. Done. Get up. What's up, when you guys recommend it to you? That one's right across the So I'm kind of curious about the Chinese food. Uh, it was kind of expensive as far as like it being $40. Um, but the portions are pretty good. I just, hopefully it tastes good. I don't know. Okay, so the food was good. It just wasn't filling, so I'm still kind of hungry. Uh, but then, it was good. I'm not sure if it was $40 good, but it was good. I mean, if you're 
Okay, so since we are at the Venetian slash Palazzo, you know I gotta show them the favorite macaroon spot. This is the hamburger flavor macaroon that you can get here. It uh, looks like a little like a little burger. Pretty cool. I'm gonna taste it right now. Mmm. Does it taste like a hamburger? Like a little cheeseburger, yeah. No, it doesn't. No. It's all terrible. <laughs> They're talking about how you went to Paris and you tried macaroons for the first time. So it, does that mean every time you come here it kind of brings back a little bit of a Paris memory? Yeah, like when I think of macaroons it reminds me of like walking the streets of Paris with my family and it's a really good memory so I guess that's why I like them so much. <laughs> nice. This is the bubble gum macaroon. Oh wow. Pretty good? It was good. It was good. Mm. Dude, this is how it good. What do you think about your macaroon baby dad? Macaroon baby? No, baby dad. Oh, baby dad. <laughs> baby dad. Baby dad. Baby dad. <laughs> this one's how good. It tastes just like the ice uh, bubblegum ice cream. Mmm. Dude. Mmm. This is really good. All right, so that was stop number one for macaroons. We're going to a second store. Uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this now because the other one was really good. What's the other one called? What? What's the other place called? Bouchon Bakery. Bouchon? So this is the second spot for the macaroons. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this, Dan? Are you ready for this? Well, you guys got to check this place out. It's inside the Venetian. All right. I'm not going to lie. That first macaroon I had was really good. The bubble gum, really good. These ones are 100 times better. All right. So macaroon number three or four. How many did you have the first time? Okay. No, three. One of these one. is equal to like three of the little ones. So. The video looks a lot better. It's clear. I don't think we did. Yeah, no. I don't think we have to have dinner. Dinner's in our Dinner's in Cass's house. Oh, I'm eating. I'm eating. All right, Cassie, pick your next victim. <laughs> I'll go with fruity. Which one is this? Which one? Passion fruit. That's passion fruit. It's yellow. I thought passion fruit would be like a, like the pinkish one. Or is that pumpkin? This yeah, the orange is pumpkin. Oh. Joe, one other one. Um, which one are you gonna get, Ted? Uh, I'm getting whatever is left over. I'm gonna get a pumpkin one. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's already good. Last night, I swear. Hmm. Wow. Which one did you like best? The vanilla was good, but. Oh, the pistachio, my pistachio one? It was good. Good stuff. Um, the vanilla was good, but the one I had before was what, raspberry? That was really good. Mm. So. What flavor is the purple one? I got this one. Because <laughs> it has is it, is that gingerbread. Oh, I don't want that. You want that? My hands are you not clean. I know. My hands are not really clean. I'm pretty sure I didn't touch a bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not a big gingerbread fan. I'm embarrassed to admit, but you knew this is coming. <laughs> We're on to the next. We ate them. Guys, this is our last macaroon. This it's, is the 98th macaroon that we had today. <laughs> this turned into a macaroon muffin. And these babies are big. They're, they're, they're no joke. You know what I mean? They're not the little macaroons. Uh, they're huge. Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely ginger, but it has nothing there. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's chocolate. Mm. If you like chocolate, you'll like this. Mm. If you don't, you won't. Like Simple as that. How's that? What's that? Caramel. Oh. Salted caramel. Mm. Oh, that's all. Mm. All right. She's like a brown. Mm. Like a chocolate brownie, basically. Oh, wow. That sounds good. <laughs> so I'm not a big gingerbread fan, but this is still pretty good. I do like the raspberry the best. What's your favorite one? Favorite one. Out of the big ones, pumpkin spice. Okay. Out of the big ones also, I like the pistachio one. Super good and super fresh. Pumpkin one was good, but it wasn't as fresh. It was a little stale, and this one's good also. It's fresh and very brownie tasting. Got, got to thank Cassie. She put me on the macaroon. 
macaroons. So it was really good. I'm definitely probably gonna, it's like one of my favorite snacks now because it's not too heavy, not too like sweet, but really good. If you guys are in Vegas, Venetian, definitely check this place out. Shout out to James, I appreciate you. Anyways, check this place out in the Venetian. Thanks for vibing and subscribing. <laughs> What do you think? I enjoyed my macaroons. Um, Cassie, it was a good choice to uh, go to every macaroon place on the Las Vegas Strip. That's what I felt like we did because I have probably had a year's worth of macaroons tonight. And um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm really macarooned out, but I'm macarooned out for today. No, <laughs> I, I, I don't want any. Check back in tomorrow. <laughs>